Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 5734, which is a very complex level, and I don't know why they're not listing more of these in this section as difficult, why they're just regular levels, but this is difficult. In 20 moves, we have to clear out 80 jelly, and let me tell you what I find to be the significant areas of concern. First of all, we've got these magic mixers. These magic mixers, if we allow them uh, to go for three turns without hitting them, they will spawn out thick, dark chocolate in these areas that clog everything else up. Plus, of course, we've got already dark chocolate and candy curls on the board and licorice locks and licorice twirls and frosting. But to me, the most difficult area is this area up here, because even if I get rid of this chocolate, uh, this area doesn't populate with candy. Although maybe it does if I clear out all of these candy curls, but that's hard to do in just 20 moves. So I'm going to show you the mechanics as best I can, and then if I don't get luck this first time round on this recording, I'll just have to keep playing until I get luck, and I'll try to... Oh, look at this. Look at how this is cascading. This is exactly what we want to have happen. So it's starting out to be a relatively lucky board. I want to continue that by making the best moves possible. See, we have to strike this usually five times before it'll explode, and it's getting nice and explodey, kind of. Except I don't have a way to hit these directly now. I will go ahead and take this stripe. It also works on this other tough area, and I'm hoping to bring, you know, this wrapped candy around. Well, that, ooh, it did work. Look at that. We got one gone already, and we're still making strikes. Okay. So I have a particularly lucky board where I was able to make a strike against the um, the the uh, magic mixers right away, and I got wonderful cascading that helped me to continue. So now I have to focus on what else needs to happen on this board. Definitely I want to try to remove the chocolate if I can. I could make this stripe, but it doesn't have a lot of significance to the board. And it's just going to allow the licorice to stream in instead of those stripes that I want. Although if I did take out licorice recently, then it should delay it. Because the deal is, this is like chocolate. If I take one out on a turn, no new licorice will form. If I don't take any out, that's when new licorice can drop in. And this one, it streams in instead of just depositing one. But I feel like what I need to do here, instead of making this move, is make a move that is as low to the ground as possible to try to encourage cascading. We saw how the cascading worked uh, just recently on this to really make the most influence on the board. And that's what we need to have happen. I have found that on this board, if I try to be fussy and set things up on my own, they don't work. Look at this. It's easy to make specials on this board because we only have four colors, but it's also easy for them to accidentally detonate. So trying to create, like if I could try to set up, you know, a color bomb situation here uh, with the orange, it's, it's probably not going to work. So I just make what I think is going to create the most chaos on the board and allow that to help me out. Also, if I can, I try to take out some of these licorice as I go. I can't, so probably it's going to start flooding in. Looks like a there's a one or a two turn delay, so it'll happen next. Oh, I did take out licorice, so maybe that helps. And then if I do have the opportunity to hit this, I should probably take it. Although I do like color bombs. I think the color bomb will be helpful enough. And, ooh, we still got that anyway, is what I was going to say. Let's say hopefully we'll still be able to get that. Now, trying to set this up with another special would be wonderful. Although, again, that's me trying to be fussy with the board, and I don't know how easily that would be achieved. So instead, I'm going to do something that is likely to make a lot of chaos on the board. Now I've got these licorice coming through. I don't want them here. So I want to take them out so anything I can make will have an opportunity to get to those areas I need to reach. And yeah, everything blew up and that's okay. Here I can take out a licorice and use this wrapped candy where it is to kind of blow up this corner here. That's good. And notice this is the part that isn't filling in. I do have a dispenser here and I was going to say I hope to get these to slide across, but it's not always that easy. All right, I'm going to make a color bomb and see what happens when all of the dust settles. It's going to take out a color which will concentrate things down. 
gave me another color bomb, color bomb spaghetti, color bombs and other specials. And this is where I feel like I really do need to try to set it up with another special. But I'm going to get licorice coming in. I want to get a stripe. Oh, stink. I did get a stripe. It was the wrong way. But I'm going to be getting a lot of licorice. So now I have the opportunity to take out some licorice. And now I've got this. And so this is a good opportunity to use some of the purple over here or the orange. This is such a tricky board. And I have such a good setup and I don't want to make the wrong choice. So I'm actually going to look at what is likely to happen. If I combine these, then I've got the opportunity to make some stripes hit in this area, which is tough to reach. And I know that if I start in the upper left hand corner and I read this like the page of a book, starting over at the left hand side of the row and going across and then down and I count out all of the oranges horizontal vertical horizontal vertical it's going to tell me which direction these go the problem is these guys up here will probably drop down before they get a chance to do their work so even though this is slated to go horizontally it might end up down here before it goes horizontally but even if it drops just one and it goes horizontally that's a good spot there so horizontal I'm going to look at what happens down here though Horizontal, vertical, horizontal, we don't count this one because we're using it up. Vertical, horizontal, this is where I'm seeing, can it help here? Nope. Uh, vertical, doesn't really matter. Horizontal, that's awful. Vertical, I don't want to miss any of these because it sets my count off. As a matter of fact, I'm going to start over. Horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, Vertical, that one helps, finally. Horizontal, vertical, that helps. Horizontal, vertical, horizontal. So we got a couple. So now let's try it if we do the purple. Horizontal, doesn't really help, doesn't really matter. Vertical, horizontal, vertical, that's a good one. Horizontal, not so good. Vertical, horizontal, not so good. Vertical, horizontal, vertical. Horizontal, vertical. So I'm actually going to go for the orange, which hit in a couple of different spots and on the thick stuff, instead of on um, the purple, which hit here. Which might be a mistake, because maybe I could get through that candy curl. But I'm also hoping that maybe we'll get through this way. Maybe that stripe will... Ooh, it did stay horizontally when it went off. Oh, that was the best choice. And it's hard to know sometimes what's going to happen, but look at that. And then look at the additional help we got from that. But now still, because of these candy curls, this is not really in a great spot for me. So I'm going to take this out so I can try to get over to here. But then I do need some help. Oh, gosh. I can't believe that this is going so well. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. I've only got this one to focus on now. And it might fill in with something, but it might not. Okay. I'm going to just take out some licorice here. And now we've got something in here and it doesn't work. Can I set anything off in that direction? No. So I'm just going to keep taking out licorice to try to keep this area clear. You see how there are so many really tough parts here. If I had this cleared out, it might be a bit more advantageous. Should I make another color bomb to give me two shots at this, or should I take out licorice? I'm going to make another color bomb because this, every other turn, usually fills in with something. Of course it filled in with a stinking licorice. That's no fun. All right. So... If this goes vertically, I think I'm going to take this move. And it's still not enough to clear it. I'm going to take this move, I should say. So horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal. This is slated to go that way. Vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal. I'm not going to take it. I'm going to do this and try to clear it out. Uh-oh, this is going to take out a color, and I don't know what it is, and if it's orange, this gets zapped. But it would take out a color and concentrate things down. Oh, we got it anyway. Ah, oh, thankfully with that cascading. So I can't tell you, you know, how 
beneficially lucky I feel that I was. The good news is, even though this was the first time of me recording this today, I had a lot of experience with this, and I was able to point out the problems that can exist, and to be able to know that what solved this was my knowledge of the board plus luck. It's not entirely luck. If I didn't understand the board and I didn't know where to focus and what to watch for, I wouldn't have been able to make the choices I make. So every time you play this, win or lose, you are gaining experience. And hopefully I was able to teach you a few things so that when you do get luck, like I got, because it'll come even if it's not the, the first one you try, even if it's the 17th or the 27th or whatever, you, you'll know and you'll be able to capitalize on that luck when it does show up. For me, I did try this yesterday, so I believe this was my 12th playthrough for recording purposes. If this was helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching.